Good day everyone, I am Phil and here we are in front of a two-story modern glass house design here in Rancho Marikina. Once again, this is your dream home. Alright, so let us start our house tour, but once again, please do click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so follow us on our social media accounts. All the links will be listed in the description box below. Also, check our listings through the social media website, which will also be listed in the description box. Right? So for now, let's enter using your um, car gate, and this is your pedestrian gate, which will lead you over to your two-car parking space. Right, and I've stated earlier, and in the title, this is a modern glass house. No, so this house has a theme of white tone colors with glass in each side. No, perfect siya sa gritong sa bansa natin. Why? Because we all we only have two uh, different weathers. No, taglemeg siya katag init. No, so you have all those glasses that will allow natural light and ventilation to flow in and out of your house. No, so ano mang klima ng panahon. No. Walang problema. Alright, so this is your two-car parking space and you can perfectly um, park two cars over here. No non-split, so hindi siya madulas. And you also have here lights cones installed in your car parking space. Alright, so now let's proceed over and this is your covered porch area. And by the way, no, in your par car parking space, you can uh, either install automated roofing or polycarbonated roofing if you want to. Yeah, so this is your um, covered porch area and this is your main door pakita ko sa inyo so this is our massive main door and its col its color is also gorgeous no complements to the white theme design of your house design of your house and so it is massive and and it is gorgeous and so now let's enter using your main door welcome to your dream home all right so now we are here inside the fair house and you will be welcome upon entering by your living area. In your living area, you have your tiles, porcelain, no, which has a size of 40 by 40 centimeter, centimeters. And also, you have here high ceiling no, and open layout design in your ground floor. No, so, no divisions in the dining and kitchen area. So, this is your living area. So, you can perfectly set up here your L-shaped sofa and set up, set up your TV table set and as you can see right here you have your monitor which has access to all the CCTV cameras installed throughout of your house you know, for this house is well secured and CCTV uh, monitored and so in your living area you have here also your glasses no so you have here your sliding uh, sliding window and fixed window no sa taas and installed by this uh, metal uh, protection you know, for added security right and if you want to you can also add blinders yeah, for privacy naman right so you have here also your cove ceiling design you know, in your living area yeah so now we're in the living area let's proceed over to the dining area and as i've said earlier open layout design you no know, and just the same atmosphere no as the living area so your dining area you can perfectly set up your eight seaters dining table right and you can also set up here your gorgeous hanging lights no to set up the mood kapag kakain. and you also have your outlets installed and also i think this is also a place where you can set up your tv table set no this is by the way underneath of your stairs you have here a storage storage area or storage room and, and, and right here this is your toilet and bath for the ground floor you have your shower space your toilet your floating vanity design your sink your mirror and your tiles which is also floor to ceiling right so now let's proceed over to the kitchen area so your kitchen area you have your island countertop which is wood finish yeah, so you can also add chairs over here to make this as your breakfast nook. And this, you have here also a lot of cabinets. No, and the space where you can set up your kitchen materials or kitchen, kitchen equipments. And so you also have your sink, your faucet, your backsplash, and a lot of cabinets right here. And also, all of them are uh, soft close. 
all right and this is the maid's room so the maid's room no uh, so the, i think this is one of the unique ro maid's room na na nakita na, na, natin sa lahat ng house natin why because sa uh, kasab kasama ng maid's room yung kanyang toilet and bath which is located underneath of the stairs sa labas no so to fully maximize the space and you can enter the maid's room using this barn door yeah so very much space saver and this is i think this can be the uh, service area no or lanai if you want to so ito yung labas na tinutukoy ko na mayroong stairs tas ando nakalagay yung toilet and bath para sa maid's room all right and this yeah and these stairs no papatunguhin niya tayo sa isang kwarto sa second floor right now let's proceed over to the second floor using your main stairs and this is your main stairs no with your metal balustrade and glass um, framing all right so now let's enter i let's proceed to the second floor all right so now we are here on the second floor and in the second floor you have your three bedrooms including the master's bedroom and in every bedroom you have your own toilet and bath yeah so to fully maximize the space of your floor area and this is the first bedroom that we have in this house right so very bright no very white in design no so you have your two outlets and this is where you can set up your queen size type of bed no so depende kung anong type of bed and you also have here a provision for your um, single type aircon over here I think ito sa baba, no? You have your outlet. And dito banda, sa entry ng first bedroom, you have here your cabinets. Yan. So you have your cabinets with a lot of partitions. Yan. Alright? Right. And this is your wrap around terrace, no? And this is the stairs na nakita natin sa ground floor kanina. And it will lead you over to the service area in the ground floor. Alright, so this is your wrap around terrace. No? So you have here also your six screen and metal framing installed for security. And so you also have your space. And by the way, as you can see, meron siyang um, drainage. So I think you can also do cleaning activities over here. Alright, so now let's proceed to the personal toilet and bath here for the first bedroom. And so you have your tiles which is floor to ceiling, your shower space, your toilet, floating vent in design, and your huge mirror. All right, so now let's proceed to the second bedroom. So this is the second bedroom that we have in this house. And it is spacious. No, so you also have your two outlets and your provision for your split type aircon. Yan. And over here, you have here a lot of cabinets for additional storage. So para siya may sariling walk-in closet. No, na combine kasi walang separate room para doon. Yan. And this is the, third, the toilet and bath for the second bedroom. Yan. So you have your tiles which is floor to ceiling, your shower space, All right. your toilet, your floating van in design, and your mirror. And you also have here the balcony for the second bedroom. And as you can notice, no, kahit parang walang ilaw, no, maliwanag, tsaka mahangin, no, due to the, due to the glasses, tsaka open, open design ng bahay na to. And this is the master's bedroom. This is the last part that we will be touring in this house. So in the master's bedroom, we have a very spacious um, area. No, you can perfectly set up your king size type of bed or queen size type of bed. So you have your outlets, a provision for your split type aircon or single type aircon. And, all right. and also in the master's bedroom, you have a lot of windows. You have your owning windows, fixed windows for natural light and for ventilation. Right, and this is your sliding door, which will lead you over to the balcony. Yeah, so this is the balcony, and this is the view, no, sa inyong harap ng bahay. Sa harap ng inyong bahay. And uh, by the way, no, katabi ng bahay na to is another unit 
no, the same as this unit. Alright? And now let's proceed over to the toilet and bath. And upon going to the toilet and bath, you will notice you also have your cabinets with a lot of partitions. Yan. All of them are soft close. Alright, so let's open this one. Yan. And this is the toilet and bath for the master's bedroom. So you have your toilet, your sink, your faucet, your mirror, your tiles which is floor to ceiling, your shower space. And as you can notice, you also have windows, you know, even in the toilet. All right, so now we are done to this house. Let's now proceed for additional details. All right, so I forgot to mention earlier, this house that uh, we have toured, this is unit B. No, so in unit B, you have here a lot area of 136 square meters and a fair area of 245 square meters. While in unit A, which is currently um, construction pa, ongoing pa yung construction, you have there a lot area of 141 square meters and a fair area of 245 square meters. So as you have seen in this house, sir, you have your three bedrooms with its own toilet and bath. You have two car parking space. You have also your maid's room. And also this house is CCTV cameras installed. And, and also the, lands, the landmarks of this house, no, malapit siya sa Marikina Heights, uh, Marie School, and Ayala Mall. So this house has a total price of 15.5 million. If it is also for you, kindly contact us to the number to be shown below. Alright, so once again, I am Phil and this is your dream home.